Hello, Vaultlets. Welcome back to 2008. Tucker, how you doing? Doing good. Good. Onward. Onward bound. You can now look at where we're at. Thank God. <coughs> Drew. You need to buy a third monitor, by the way. Real. And then a fourth. Uh, yep. And then I need a fifth one to hang from the wall. Yep. And ironically, what I do, I'll show the people. We in Raleigh? <laughs> uh, or, yeah, that, that, that checks out. That sounds right. North Carolina. Wait, I don't think we've been there this year. I'd be shocked. Would you? Yeah, we'd love... Raleigh? That's yeah. true. Oh, specifically Raleigh. Fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been in Charlotte a bunch, I'm sure. All right, the gang's all together. Triple H has got a new hat he really <laughs> likes. <laughs> shit, we have a lot of shit stored up. We do now. Uh, hmm. I guess tonight's finish is a little unusual, so I suppose we should make one. Did you ask for a creative finish for Davari? <laughs> Oh, no, fair. Oh, it's a big gamble. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Two men go through table at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Tables match draw. And then I want to start building up character ideas for a pair of debuting, dominating people. Oh, yeah, Triple H. <laughs> exactly. Exactly who I meant. Triple H is sad. Oh, all caps. Okay. Yeah, we could do it. another one. I, I might, might as well do another one, I guess. Yeah, yeah. A big gamble. Uh, okay, so there's two There's two ones that I could think of would be a big gamble that are relevant here. Uh, and that is large woman or foreign man. <laughs> foreign both, man. Oh both are quite, quite, quite gambly here. All right, perfect. Perfect. What's going on backstage? No. Fuck off, you Simon. For TNA? Oh, they cut him. I wanted him at one point to be like a mid card guy. Fuck no, off, Simon. Fuck out of here. Oh my! Don't do it, Edge. Don't, don't, don't do it. <laughs> Okay. All right. You know, she's refusing to do eye candy yeah. matches. She's booking what her own angles. <laughs> What's that? What's what are the initials here? Hold on. What's happening? <laughs> I'm sick. I'm tired. My back hurts. I work with children. <laughs> Candice Michelle is punk. <laughs> she is punk rock. No, no. Punk rock's a couple years down the line. Oh. What? What's that? Uh, 2013? What's, what is punk rock in this context? Uh, punk slash rock? Oh, I see, rock? I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you now. I'm with you now. <laughs> Good joke. Um, <laughs> Jesus, all right. Fair. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, I, I appreciate it. Unironic. It oh, sounds okay. ironic, but I promise you it's not. What are, you, what are you thinking? Let's fire someone. Hell yeah. Maybe uh, maybe it's time for a rib. Rib time. Okay. Okay, so Candice Michelle is sticking up for herself a lot backstage, and she's coming to us with a lot of ideas. Let's see if she's got a sense of humor, if she can handle being a star in this company. With a major prank. I love that, like, you could, in theory, just do this at every single show and role plays like a leprechaun that, like, runs a wrestling <laughs> show and just hires these workers in to fuck with them. <laughs> I like how that's where your head went. Oh. Yeah, that's the first thing I thought of. All right. Maybe, like, a little, little goblin man fucking around. A <laughs> little goblin man, yeah. All right, makes sense. Uh... 
uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. I suppose we can, these days we can consult the storylines to see what's going on on Raw, because we have so many of them. That's the main, well, that's the co-main. This, how are we getting, yeah, this should probably continue this week, right? What's the idea? Well, Chris Masters has to get better. Yep. He Training montage? A pilgrimage to SmackDown to learn under Nat Hart. No. No? Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, training montage then. <clears throat> All right. It's time for a new challenger for the title. Oh, shit. Probably. I guess it's Candice Michelle. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. Yeah. Yeah, that works with me. Where is she? Oh, she's in another one somewhere. She's in. We could probably end this storyline. I think this one's pretty much over. Um, yep. So this on this episode, we can have some promos. Yep. This one, I think now maybe the is should go to Joey and be like, hey, man, what do you want? Because, like, we've gone really far now. Yep, I, I was I was gonna ask you to do this last week, but I uh, I, I didn't think you wanted to. I'm definitely I, down. I thought they I thought they might trade the M back and forth for a mm. while, so it'd be hard to keep up. But yeah, no, I'm good with this. Yes, I don't know if you have any ideas for how that angle goes, but essentially, like, I want it to be like clear that the, you know this is reaching a boiling point now, and Miz kind of wants to see you know put this under the bridge and move on with his life. He doesn't want to be feuding with Joey Mercury forever. And we should, like, get to a match in which, like, Joey Mercury puts the M on the line and these guys put the, the Hool M&M brand on the line. Yeah. Um, I, I guess, like, the, this can just be the last straw. You know what I mean? Like, like it's... Mm -hmm. um, does the Miz just, like, go to him and yell at him about it? And then... Book a match? Maybe Miz goes and yells and then he thinks for a week. And then next week he's like, I will give you an opportunity to earn the M back. But I'll tell you what I want. I want M and M back. So if I win, I want my whole I want my friends back, Bat. <laughs> and something about like um Joey Mercury can be like Well, from your perspective, I've taken your M, but you've taken my whole life. Yep. What's happening with this this week? I Tommy guess Dreamer's Tommy Dreamer's, Dreamer's name, naming. Name. Yeah. Cool. This match is booked. I feel but like some sort of... Coexist? Ooh. When they are forced to take on a pair of Southern wrestlers. Hell yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's start off the show then with, with those two men. Mr. Kennedy's going to come out and do his usual routine. John Cena's washed. His spirit is broken. He is not the man he used to be. And I think it's high time that he goes away because there's a new John Cena, a new face of Monday Night Raw, the most must-see WWE champion of the last year. I beat Randy Orton. I beat John Cena. And I am the face of Monday Night Raw. And then Cena could come out and be like, nice speech, Ken. <laughs> I, I'm not washed. I will rise up and overcome. I will never give up. And at Madison Square Garden, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. And then Tay Long's like, holla, holla, players. I want you to compete in a tag team match. Right now. Right now, damn. <laughs> Ten? So, uh, buddy, can they coexist? 
Not really, but they will win. <laughs> oh, okay. Because <laughs> I, I can't justify them not winning. Nope. I understand, yes. <laughs> Seven? Yeah, that's pretty much where I was going. Cool. I think Kennedy should probably win. Cool. Maybe there should be some afters. Let me also do this. Uh, uh. Yep. Like, we pay them monthly. Might as well send them out. We should do some afters where the three cowboys try to, like, beat down these two guys. And then they, they uh, like, throw them out of the ring. And then they, they stare each other down. I like it. I guess this two-part angle, I would say, maybe? Like a two-minute fighting angle and then a two-minute working the crowd angle? Yep, I like it. Cool. Big brawl. Uh, Cena and Kennedy. Stare down. Then... I'll just add a new one. And then I'm thinking uh, unreciprocated normal victory for both of these men. How long in the second part? I'm thinking two is fine. I'm also open to you having an opinion. <laughs> All right, Part of me says four just because that's clean. That's a clean six, but. I'm whatever you want to do. I will. I'm happy. Yeah, we'll go with four. Fuck it. All right. Uh, what kind of victory was that? Sorry. I was thinking unreciprocated regular for both, but again, I'm open for you having an opinion. Yeah, I think that's probably accurate. What's going on here? Have you unpushed JBL? Have I unpushed JBL? Yeah, you usually unpush people who aren't yeah. in. Okay, cool. I was just wondering if he was showing up because he was still pushed, but I guess you're just going to have to deal with him showing up. Forever. Oh, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> um, cool. Graphic hyping up the main event. Tables match. Orton, Edge, the rematch. Then highlights from last week's main event, Victoria versus uh, Beth Phoenix. And you can put both of these, yep, because they're not in the storyline anymore. <coughs> then let's check Candice's idea to see if it's like if there's any relevance to it. Very risky. Ooh, okay. Well, so I want this to happen here. Candice to cut a promo on Beth Phoenix. Now, what's very risky about this idea of Tucker? Um, shit. What is very risky about this idea? You were, you had this thing about blondes recently. Is there anything, can she attack Beth for just being like another Trish Stratus, for just being like the company's chosen one because she's tall and blonde? You know, yeah. people talk about Beth Phoenix being this great wrestler, but I haven't seen it. She's picked for her image just as much as I'm picked for my image, just because it's a different image. But I don't know about you, but I don't, Damn. I don't like to dress up like a savage and pretend I'm from the Amazon. That's, that's, that's some heat. That's yeah, heat, bro. Okay, Holy cool. Shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm sold on that. <laughs> yep, cool. Candice Michelle shoots hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's uh, yeah, like four. That's it. Yeah, I think six. Sure. Yeah, and put Katie and um, Christy as background players. Yep. Victims. Victims. <laughs> Uh, in, this, in the ring, backstage? Uh, backstage. 
Yeah, I guess she's like, yeah, she's flanked by the girls somewhere backstage talking to camera. Going to be a major storyline victory, hopefully. I would say it was, it'd be over, Vic, over, Beth. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm down. Yeah, but I also think it seems major to me. It does, yeah. Oh, Beth might complain, we'll see, I guess. I doubt she will. I don't think Beth's that over. And I think Candace is kind of over. Oh, Damn. furious, even. Huh. Furious. Okay, now, if I, it feels a little cheaty for me to change this into unreciprocated, but not that cheaty. I'd accept no. it if you're cool with it. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, no, that seems like the move, honestly. It's all exactly right. what I'd do. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, now we should... I, I, can I get Heath Slater and... You know what would be cool if I remembered? If I could Oh, I would have forgotten. Well done, well done. Um, um, we have uh, we have a couple other ones that have been laying around. This Ray one, yep, which I guess I could use really whenever. Uh, and then uh, this man sucks for John Cena. <laughs> we should probably apply the John Cena one <laughs> because okay. I don't I don't know how. Uh, I think we're past the the peak yeah, of I this man so sucks. Yeah, I saw that <laughs> oh wait, uh, no, it's this man sucks. Do 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 do. John Cena sucks. There you go. Uh, oh yeah, can I get Heath Slater? And yes. oh, you mean me Sebastian Slater? Oh, why? Why did we change his name? That was his name at the time. So I was I, like, "Fuck it, that's." Cool. I'm down. Seb Slater. Yeah, I, like, Seb. I I also need a, a partner for Seb. Oh, oh, give me um, give me the six seven giant Lawrence Knight. Sure, big man, small man. Man, small man. I wonder if they'll ever do anything together in the. <laughs> uh, and they're they're going to take on the the world tag team champions Paul London and, and Brian Kendrick. That's Pretty heat. Like, what the hell? <laughs> this is like kind of a banger. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, literally. <laughs> we will we will see you guys in a couple of years. Um, I guess three is as long as I can justify for this. Pin, pin Slater because he sells yep. well. Yeah, I saw the name Lawrence Knight on that guy, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Knight is a reference to the Knight family. I wonder if it's a reference to L.A. Knight. Yeah. Um. Yep. <laughs> uh. Okay. Let's sell tickets for the WrestleMania Revenge Tour. I'm gonna start doing this too. We're we're getting we're getting the Jerry Lawler voiceovers in here. For sure. We can also get Jerry Lawler out there as an in-ring interviewer every now and then. Or even a backstage interviewer every now and then. Yeah, oh thousand percent. Uh okay. Now let's do the Ms. Mercury angle. Yep. Or maybe, you know, the is has been the central character of this for a while, and I think that's good. But he fucking you know, like, sits up from his chair in the back. <laughs> yeah, feelings on things. He is the guy who knew Joey Mercury, right? Uh, he's also the he guy who hasn't been Mercury. affected by the M stuff, right? So maybe he's gonna be like, Joey, the fuck's going on, man? Let's settle this. And yeah, the is can be present if uh, if that makes sense to you. Yeah, absolutely, it does. And then I guess Tori Wilson should also be there. Character development on everybody. Yep. I have to say, I have a lot of criticisms for parts of this new angle system, but the character development and working the crowd are nice. I'm glad that he just went for some generic shit. Because <laughs> that's, yeah, no, that's the way I'd like it to be. <laughs> yeah. the, the only one that I wish was in here, and maybe it's ultimately segment host, now that I know it's in here. Um, I wish there was one that was just like, Talking, but not necessarily mm. cutting a promo, you know, what or I mean? character development. Yeah. Yeah. Like people aren't or dramatic acting. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> or working the crowd even sometimes if it's like a pre taped thing. Like, what is that? Yeah. Like. Um, four, probably. Yep. 
Yep, I like it. Johnny Nitro is alive. He has opinions on things. Do we go minor Johnny Nitro victory? Yep. This man has opinions and feelings. He is a real boy. Do we have anything I for... I can't believe it took that long for, for um, either one of us really to be like, oh yeah, we should just... <laughs> With Johnny, I, I, I mean, wouldn't even thought of that. I know we were. I know we've had. It, like he's just sort of been hanging around as like yeah. the best asset in this angle, and he never does anything. <laughs> but yep. you know, I've still sort of been like, he's safe there. He's he's on screen. <laughs> he's he's a part of the show. Um, anyway, uh, do we have anything big here for top of the hour? We could just do our match between Jeff Hardy and Ted DiBiase. Um, Dave is a person who could do something, but I guess yeah, that's I, your department now. I'm so bad at the week to week. Um, mm. I just am like, I'm such a, I'm such a big picture person that, you know, I, I didn't, we have, we had an idea for it. Shelton. Oh yeah. Shelton's going to be starting a, a beef with the Samoans this week. We're going to have to workshop that soon. Oh, that's the perfect spot for the whole thing. I even pitched right here. Actually. Well, like kind of like with the with that tag match coming up and stuff like that, where we can have that renegotiation, if you will. Oh, yeah, I forget where we landed on that. If if you had decided you didn't want to do that, that's cool with me. My I, pitch I was that we would do it a little later, maybe in like a yep. month and a half, two months. And instead of it being he's being fucked over, it's he's trying to get more. Do you remember that pitch? Yeah, yeah, and that was. That was kind of my intent always with it. Um, cool. Well, no, you had pitched it as yeah. he's not being paid what he was promised. Did I? Did I? Oh, that? I think that, that so. You, me... you, you used the phrase he didn't get the big deal. And now I understand that you meant like it wasn't a big contract or something. Yeah, I always I thought it was like he was. I, I, I thought it was that Ted, Teddy had promised him a big deal and he didn't get it. Yeah, no, it was more so that right there, then, he, that was not the big deal. The big deal's coming. Right. Well, in that case, I think I'm on board with it. Um, but yeah, it's, for me, it's not like a right now Batista thing. I, 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 but yeah, I'm down for you to yeah. do it still. Yeah, it's I your can. you know, it's your thing. But like for me, again, I'd like to go. I, I want it to be a slow, gradual thing from phoning it in, playing the cardboard cutout of who Batista was on SmackDown realizing he you know he can just show up kill people and leave and get paid so like mm, i could get paid more if i did this that and the other yeah and that was more so me seeing shelton in a tag team and going there it is when am i ever gonna get this chance again oh yeah um, i mean i think you will have lots of chances <laughs> it probably will yeah and there are a couple different guys who this could be you know what i mean it's not tied to shelton benjamin in any kind of way it was just like right there and i went oh shit there, there it is, because I kept thinking to myself, how do I pull that together to begin with? There's like a whole other story I have to think of there. Um, But it's fine. We're good. We're good. Okay. Do we want to have Batista doing anything here? I don't know what he would do here. It could cut be a, something generic. Cut a very vacuous promo. Yeah. Yeah, I dig it. Actually. The animal has been unleashed. So everybody on the raw locker room better watch their backs. And then he does his poses and leaves because he's in the ring for this. Okay, yep. Six. Yep. Cool. Then I definitely think we need to have our Hardy yes. versus DiBiase match. Um, and this one, nine is screaming to me. Yep. Uh, and yeah, it's a back and forth open match where Jeff Hardy just wins clean. Man, the U.S. title is so hot. Such a hot division, man. Anybody could beat anybody. Exactly. Let's uh, let's put our tag team partners at ringside for this match. Good call. Good call. You can, if you don't... I I sense that you did like the ending, but if you don't, we can talk about it. <laughs> no, 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 I did. Okay. I, I, 
the reason I had switched up what I was saying there, because the moment he came out of my mouth, I was like, this sounds sarcastic as fuck. I, have to, <laughs> like, I was like, yeah, real, real hot going on here in the division. Yes, very much. <laughs> And then, yeah, I mean, I, 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 maybe Jeff talks for two minutes after the match and confirms that I will, in fact, be taking my United States Championship match now, please. I love it. Matt Hardy, background player. Uh, Ted DiBiase, dramatic acting. Sure. He's like, no! No! Um, are we putting a... Oh, that's at the SME show? I don't think so. No. At some point. Yeah, I don't think it's next week either. It's probably the week after. That's typically how I frame these angles. Just as at some point. It'll be on the... Uh, oh, I'm in fucking August here. It'll be on the... 2nd of June episode of Monday Night Raw in Philadelphia. That's when it'll be... Yeah, I thought about that recently how um pre-booking works in this game and stuff like that because i'd seen i'd seen people complaining that um like modern tv wrestling and stuff like that doesn't build to matches multiple weeks out anymore it's it's very much week to week pre-booking and stuff like that you just sell sure. the next week's show and i was like yeah, that's we can't even though. do that in pw <laughs> <laughs> but that's true that was my point. Yeah, we can't we can't pre book a couple weeks ahead in TW. You can for event. events, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah. absolutely, yeah. you can for events. But or you could if you did TV. what you fucking did in your tour shows and book all fifty two TV shows yeah. As yeah. <laughs> yeah. across the year. Fucking over two hundred events booked a year. Ten years <laughs> in, baby, we're fucking crazy. I've booked like over. What the hell would that be? Would that be over like two thousand? Shows or something like that? Fuck. God damn. Does that add up? Is that math mathing? I'm not mathing. Probably. <laughs> I refuse to math. I'm very burned. And yeah, that'd be that'd be two thousand. Uh all right. Before we forget, Tommy Dreamer should name the time and the place and the match. Yeah, the time is uh next week on Raw. Cool. Um The place is uh right here. The camera pans back and he's in the fucking parking lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to beat you up in a parking lot, Charlie Haas. Nice. Oh, yeah, so this is gonna... I don't really know how the hell I sell this, because they've never really done this before, I don't think. Um, I guess they have once. They did it with Eddie and Cena once, right? Um, where it was like a sanctioned thing. Yeah, I think they've done a couple of backstage brawls throughout the years. There's that classic empty arena match for Foley and Rock, I want to say. Yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, cool. Um, I think which I, I, think which I hate, by the way. People love that empty arena match. I think it's shit. I think it's a bad match. I don't know why people like that match. It's not... I, I will definitely say I watched it once a long time ago. Um... That's not the one where Foley takes the crazy headshots, right? That's the rumble. Oh, I don't remember. It For me, it was a while ago, too. Okay, I'm thinking that's the one. Yeah, I don't think that is the one with the... That's an I quit match, the one with the chair shots and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. So if I recall correctly, the Mick Foley rock match um, feels a little... Um, the, the backstage... or the Not the backstage for all. The empty arena feels pretty... I don't know, impactless. Does that make any sense? Yeah. It doesn't feel like a, it's increased the level of barbarity. They're kind of doing bits with it instead of blood, not blood feud stuff necessarily, but that's kind of what you'd hope. Someone in chat you know. points out there was a boiler room brawl, which I vaguely remember, but can't quite remember. Anyways, it can only end by knockout. So. Oh shit. Okay. I don't know about that stipulation, but that's cool. That's cool. That's, that's yeah. uh that's hardcore. The referee has to declare the other man uh, unfit to continue. All right. Your life is in the red. Your life is in George Hackenschmitten's hands. Real. It should be George <laughs> Hackenschmitten. Um, right. What do we do with Shelton and the Samoans here? Uh, so did they attack him last week? No, they haven't done anything. This is the start of the feud. Oh, right. So is this the angle where Shelton does an interview where he talks about, talks about his legacy? Stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. 
yeah, you know, there's a lot of people going around talking about legacies lately. Um, it actually doesn't make sense for him to bring it up. So some, whoever the interviewer here is should ask him. Um, what do you, you think know, about the, the success thing. of Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase? Yeah, and you can say that those two were supposed to, you know, continue the DMLS idea to, to pass it on to another generation and stuff like that, and they broke away early before their training was ever really done. Um, so with that in mind, Shelton Benjamin, his legacy is his own. He's, at this point, his impact, his impact in the world <laughs> of wrestling has been Uh-oh. not. <laughs> he writes um, TNA in the... <laughs> Real. In the air. Real. Real. <laughs> uh, no, but essentially Shelton has uh, nothing to show for it but his own record. Um, and then Armando Estrada walks in. Two. Um, yeah, whatever, whatever the fuck I said yesterday, man. Damn. My name is Armando Alejandro Estrada. And you are a punk. Yeah, basically. Um, he says, you know, Sh- Shelton, yeah, you do have nothing to stand on, buddy. But these two men behind me, these two monsters, they are bred for this business. You want to know the true legacy of the MLS? He's standing right there. It's Manu. And then the big men, like, beat him up in the interview area. Shit. This sounds like a two part angle. then I think it does. It does go. No, no, go keep those in. Keep, keep those in, go bodyguard on them. And we'll do the Armando and Shelton talking here. And then we'll transition to fighting in the second part. And I think the fighting can go two minutes. I guess it's Shelton victim and uh, yeah. attacker for, yeah. And then I guess background player for Armando, or we could go working the crowd. I think working the crowd is probably what I would do. And then Amy Weber can be removed Sebastian from the angle. Slater. Sebastian Slater. He's here. He's here. Uh, yeah, we'll get, uh, oh, I can't. Wait, yeah, that, that would make sense. Oh, sorry. Christopher Nowinski is who I meant. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I didn't even. Yeah, I should have picked up on that. No, no, I said Amy Weber. <laughs> That's my best. I was like, she's not there. Everybody here is. <laughs> All right. And uh, I guess we should uh, make, yeah, I think two is the right. I think we should make a storyline with these guys and then give, I guess, unreciprocated successes to the large men. What do you think on this? What are we calling this? Clash of the ta- No. Um- oh, something to do with like legacy. A legacy of carnage. Um, Something ooh. about mm-hmm. destroying a legacy, wrecking a legacy. Uh huh. Just wreck, le- wreckage of something to do with a wreckage. Legacy lost. <laughs> uh huh. Defending your legacy? Yeah, sure. At this point. Sure, yeah. If you come up, we can change it next week. Yeah, if we think of any better. Yeah. You're not going to put Armando in there? Well, I am now, because he has to. <laughs> what are you in? Oh, ah, that's fair. I think that is fair. Then we're doing unreciprocated regular, I guess. Yep. They should probably be over Shelton, but Shelton's probably going to complain. Let's see. Let's try. He'll probably complain about Manu. Manu. Yeah. Adam Mahoney wouldn't. We still have Adam. Oh, wait, no. Adam Mahoney's the ref, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking of Balls Mahoney. Uh Oh. (laughs) Yeah, no, Shelton's pissed. Honestly, reasonable. All right. Uh, 
think it's probably just time for our main event. Yeah, I don't think we're missing. Oh, the Chris Masters training montage. Oh, yeah. We can fit in a one minute Chris Masters training montage. Yeah, we definitely could. Yep. Dramatic acting. Like it. Who's the Michael Hayes of Raw? Tony Gurria. Sure. Let's also give um, Chris Masters an unreciprocated minor victory. Yeah. Big, strong boys. And, that can yeah. go yeah. here. Cool. And then main event? Yep. This can go 19, and I think that's a pretty decent length. Yep. I, w I do wonder if uh, the game's going to let us do a draw in a tables match. Surely it will, right? Surely. So yeah, this match is two men who hate each other, brawling, uh, using nasty tricks, going through their usual spots um, and their violent tendencies. Lots of chair shots, uh, kendo stick, you know, that kind of nonsense. Edge, I'm sure, will use tables, ladders, and chairs throughout the match. Um, and in the end, he will dive headfirst and recklessly onto Randy Orton through the ropes like the Mick Foley finish in WrestleMania 22 and they will both go clattering into the tables the bell will ring an edge will slowly you know get to his feet and he'll be he'll grasp the WWE title uh, and then there will be a replay on the screen that shows that both men went through the table at the same time and so Randy Orton is still the, the WWE champion do you want me to put Sports End finish on there? I don't think so. I don't think it is. It sounds exactly like what we're trying to get here. Then it's a messy. It's month. a mess. <laughs> sure, I guess it's, we're is gonna get not? we're good. Yeah, we're gonna get penalized for it <laughs> for sure. Will we? Yes, we've done this before. They hate it. I don't know why. It's exactly the kind of product where they should accept it. But I, you know, you're right. It probably should be. Okay. I don't even know if it's going to let us do that for a tables match, but wait, I see tables finish yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we put that on. <laughs> but that might, that might put somebody over. No, the surely the, yeah, it'll war wins the title here. It's on, <laughs> man. That's all it'll saying. warn us if we're going to put, if, it'll warn us when we click save. If, if edge is going to win the title. Huh? We can't do a tables match, bro? Also, why have we got an ITV representative here? Literally. What are you telling me about, bro? Get rid of him. Yeah, um, literally. <laughs> I guess we have to go make a safe tables match. Now, I swear I saw something about being able to use the editor at this at this at the shows now. So maybe go and try that first. The editor. Oh. Looks like I can. Pog. Ah, interesting. Why don't you change that match to something else? To something else? I just switch it back. Yeah, here. Yeah. You. Did I say tables? I meant. We meant barbed Taipei, wire. <laughs> Taipei uh, taped fist. We meant sumo. Texas bull rope cage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is so dumb. Yeah. Love this game. I mean, man. it I would almost say, oh, why don't they just make it so that we can edit these? But the answer is coding. <laughs> it's not necessarily that they didn't yeah, want right? us to. You, you, you yeah. Probably you, yeah, you was gonna say you probably can't well you probably could, but it would take a lot of effort to actually if no, they, you probably just couldn't with the way that this game yeah. is going, right? You just probably straight probably up not. If they let us, I would go very low. I don't think a tables match is a particularly risque type of match cool yeah game agrees did I say Texas bull rope <laughs> we meant tables match I meant shark tank <laughs> I love that that's still there I also shark still tank. think that would we need to bring that back specifically for Danielson because I think I said this at the time that like Danielson versus shark in a shark tank would be so good 
you're trying to add a new you you you're not in the right place. <laughs> yep, there we go. Good. It's all good, man. It, yeah, yeah. Knows. Oh, it saved my info though. So I appreciate yep. that. Except it didn't save my that. That's fine. No, because that, that doesn't get pre-booked. You change the length of the match in the pre-booking. That's uh, why it saved. What were we doing here? Sorry. Open. Uh, table, table finish. finish. Uh, add the creative finish. Yeah. Also, give them some stunt bumps. Yep. How long can All Out go? Uh... 15? Where's all that? It's lower there. It's 20, 20, I think. Yeah. What is... Can you show me the hardcore match aim? Okay, that's 15, so we can't do that. What about death match? Okay, that's 15. What about... Mayhem? <laughs> smoke and mirrors notes man yeah and I I just wonder whether we're trying to go like cinema with these two or if we are just going smoke and mirrors what do you think they can do I'm sure they can do a serious version of this match where Edge sells that he is a lunatic and they're both depraved nasty people I also think it could be fun just to do all the goofy spots I'll leave it to you. I'm really conflicted. I, I would I would appreciate input. My my heart says just do the regular match, but my brain says that this is what would actually happen here. Do you want to try actually, it? Actually, no, because we in theory would save this actually for the last. No, I think the last match is going to be a serious one. Okay, yeah, let's do this then. I think if this good, although we what we could do instead is we could go regular and we could go all out. Okay, yeah, you want to go with that? Uh, let's check their stamina, but I think it's there's a good chance I, I'm down. We could also just go overbook without mayhem. That's true. Uh, so Warren's in 86. My and thing with the overbook. 91. My thing with the overbook is that they're good wrestlers. They probably don't yes. need the overbook. No, they, yeah, no, they don't need to be hidden. All right, let's let's just go all out then, and okay. have that be the they're going crazy note. Because I would like this to be like a really hectic, crazy TV main. Yeah, no, I I, I buy it. Oh yeah. Okay, oh yeah. Fine. I forgot about that. Cool. Raw. Yeah. I love it. Raw. Excellent. Let's do it. Let's do it. I just want to be, want to be loved. We're going to get back into the unclear, aren't we? No. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Surely this show, this show feels like it's hype. Like, look how we're starting things nice, off yeah. with a tag team match, player. Holla, holla. Holla, holla. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Holy damn. That is, that is, that is pretty good. Kennedy hits the Green Bay plunge. Hell yeah. Also like how Kennedy got out, outworked by Ry yeah. Walker in this Walker, match. Yeah. I love, what I really love about Kennedy, I love Kennedy in this whole save because I feel like he is literally just trading on overness and it's sort of yep. just working. It is. He got over and that's just it. Yeah, in this type of company, once you're over, you're made. No matter how fucking bad you are. Sometimes we see his weaknesses, but that is, but you know, he 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 hangs. He's fine. He banged Holly that John Cena worked. match. Hey, I don't know about that. I think Ken Shamrock was a better <laughs> choice. <laughs> hey, I just love, hey, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> yep, main event hype. The crowd heat is very hot. It's still very hot. It's hot but cooling. The idea was a failure. God damn it, Candace. Hmm. Yeah. Hot. Back to hot. Tower of London. A great performance of Paul London really stood out. I feel like that's a new way that's phrased. 
I think that was in the last game. I swear it was just like the performance of Paul London really stood out. They, they maybe, added great. Maybe, maybe you're right. It's possible. Anyways, yeah. The, the boys. Yep. yep. Come, to the, come to the events. Come to the house shows. Nice. Working. We can book this in for next week, or are we doing it next week? No, I don't think so. Okay. I think I think we got another week. Chris Masters figuring this out. Yep. I mean, yep, that makes sense. Mark Henry has to accept a rematch, right? Real, yeah. We haven't even proposed a rematch yet. Um, yeah, there's nothing to pre-book out of this, right? We're just... Yeah, because I think Joey's got to go away and think about it. Mm, love it. Also, I like how that's an old Joey Murky picture and a new Johnny Nitro picture, and yet still, it looks almost yep. like... Yeah. <laughs> Big Dave. Whoa. I mean, I'm kind of shocked that this didn't do better. Blame Steve Austin. Okay. The crowd, though. White hot. White hot. Okay, we're not yeah. very hot, but this banged. Holy. And it did. Wow. Ted, Teddy boy. Jeff Hardy will get a title shot eventually. In two weeks' time, on the June sick, the June second edition of Monday Night Raw, the time and place have been named next week. Virginia Beach. There's got to be a backstage brawl. How about a one v one medium risk match. <laughs> um, you'd think there would be a backstage brawl, but it doesn't look like it. I guess you're going to have to edit the brawl. Edit the brawl. I like it. Uh, match held in. Car lot backstage, baby. Um, you want yeah, stoppage? stoppage? Yeah, yeah. It's the only way to win. Oh. That what is the difference? I think a stoppage can be like a submission pass out. Damn it. Like the yeah, referee decides to stop the match whereas knockout is is like you're knocked out cold with a punch. Okay, we'll go with stoppage then. All right. Um weapons scaffold. Yep. Tables. Ladders. Light tubes. <laughs> Thumbtacks, maybe? Explosives. So, Thumbtacks, maybe, some? yeah. Bed of nails, maybe? I, I don't know. Too I don't much? Know about that one. Okay, all right. Too much, yeah. All right. Stoppage is not a definitive finish. Okay, then knockout it is. I thought so. Okay. So I can't do any ladders, unfortunately. What was that? Which one was that? Scaffold. Scaffold. God damn it. I, I have to fall sc- off the scaffold. <laughs> can't just climb it. Okay, we, we can do low. low. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that'll work. Cool. In the backstage brawl. You know what, Vince? I don't really give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? What can I... What am I allowed to do? Huh? Did we what miss something? Wait, wait. Did we miss something? There might have been like a focus. Like a brawl focus. There used to be. There probably isn't anymore. No. No, I guess not. It's a damn thumbtacks, bro. What even is it? Is it the injury risk? I, I think it's the content risk. I think I think we cater to little babies. Wait, so if you got yeah, try that. Okay, it has to be. I mean, fuck it. Yeah, do you don't curtail your artistic vision, brother. Go yeah, for true. It. What the hell? It's not gonna fucking bang. We can't. Uh, we can't get. Go, we can't do the scaffold because we we will not be allowed to broadcast it. But but we can do the we can do this. Yeah. Yeah. Send the children away. If you or I wonder if. I wonder if we'd be allowed to do it on the pre-show, even if it's if ITV have a problem with it. 
That'd be interesting. An angle. Yeah. Later on in the night where we play footage of it. I think it's going to be, though, that if they won't allow it on the main show, they won't allow it on the dark show. And I know that sounds dumb, but I think that's just how it's going to end up being it. coded. ITV owns every arena in the country. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Main event. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> we, we, we will take that. Literally. Edge lost. All right. But in our heads, it's a draw. I knew they'd be weird about that. I thought they would, but I thought to myself, nah, surely not. And there's Raw. I'm just, I'm just pointing that both of our ideas failed on this show. Given how good that main event ended up being without it, I feel like the, the, that idea could have pushed that main event into some serious levels. I can't hear these failed ideas over that other M I just made. Let's go. Joey? Is that you? I meant the million, but fair. I know you meant the fair, million. Fair, fair, I was making a oh, joke okay. about you know the M. Because you know, that's the meme we've been doing. Ah, ha, 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 very funny. Thank you. <laughs> we should look into that Kenta Kobashi guy. He looked pretty good. Should look into this Jeff Hardy guy. <laughs> Maybe we should. <laughs> I hundred percent thought that that was going to be um, DiBiase putting over his son, and I was like, "That's big." <laughs> oh, oh Joey. Oh, it's just, it's just, it's just the weed. It's okay. Find okay. him. Yep. Stop, Stop getting, getting caught. caught Who's that Let's guy? <laughs> Who is that guy? I don't know. I think I know him. Do you? I used to know him. I think he hung out at a Raw recently. Look, it's New Japan's up-and-coming ring announcer. He's been trained up by the great Hidekazu Tanaka. I love it. Two people I know everything about. He's got a basic skill for some reason. A and consistency a and a safety. He's working, brother. Huh. Who's that guy? He's been too high to work. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Landstorm, no. I thought so. I was like, you... all right. You do you. Okay. Who's that? Who's that guy? Which one do you want? Heal. Yeah, okay. I'll do it later. <laughs> Who's... Oh, I know who that guy is. <laughs> who is that? Legitimately. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remembered. <laughs> if you're going to get go. a... If you're going to get a referee, you're going to need to get some ring girls. Oh, fuck. It's going to be too short notice to get the ring girls now. <laughs> I'll have to call them up. I'll have to use American women. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I, I think sometimes they use American women. <laughs> Fuck! Huh? I right, dog. <laughs> Whatever's going on over there. Uh, our dev fed has once again beaten DNA. All it took was getting Danielson. Um, you say DLS beaten DNA, but uh, those attendance figures tell a different story. I don't care about <laughs> finances. I care about the soul. <laughs> Okay. Yo, the Nexus over here, by the way. Yep. I also like how they're putting on better matches than, than us on the on the rank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's TNA's offering this week. I'm searching for our friend CM yeah, Punk. He's not there. He's not <laughs> there. Don't worry. But, he, I don't... but he's he's getting a push though. That's what they just. That's what they kept telling. Um, that's what they kept telling Dave, so people would stop asking. They're like, "Yeah, he's gonna big push. We'll get to a big push for him here eventually. We're just making sure he's ready." All right, where are we at? We are in Pitts. Nope, that's in two weeks' time. We're in uh, Greensboro. Greensboro. In the Greensboro Coliseum. All right, gangs together. Let's generate a new character idea. 
Is Carlos Colon Jr. Carlito? Yes. Okay. Another big gamble. We can once again go for either large woman or foreign man. There's also another one. Who is the other? Because I remember during Raw, there was another guy who was debuting. See if I can remember it in a couple seconds. And if not, we'll just go with large. Oh, you've already looks. Okay. You've already, you've already, it's okay. My eyes were closed. That's all. We may proceed. Another one or? We can't? Oh, we can. Oh, fuck it. Send it then. Yeah, absolutely. We're in need of character ideas. This one's a safe bet. Um, okay. Evil foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember. It's Shelly Morgan. Oh, That's yeah, the other I person we need to generate it. some uh, some momentum for. All right. What's going on in the SmackDown locker room today? Solid. Solid. Kid a Kong! Hell yeah, man. <laughs> Kid a Kong, indeed. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Uh, yeah, sure. That's it. Not much happens on SmackDown, apparently. <laughs> you didn't see the Todd Grisham poker tournament? That's true. That's what everybody was doing, actually. What are we doing here? Ah, it's a good question. Should, we should meddle. Okay, should we try and mend the relationship between Chavo Guerrero and Kevin Nash? I'm down. All right, well, who knows? It's hard to tell. <laughs> Who's People to say? Complex. People are complex. Who is to say? to say? People are complex. <laughs> Who's to say what happened? All right, I have my... I have my brain psychosis angle for tonight and it's not even going to take a long time. So whenever, whenever okay. you have four minutes. Well, we're kicking off with a four minute angle. That is the undertaker making his entrance. He is wrestling here tonight. The former world heavyweight champion. Okay. Damn. Uh, yeah. And then he's going to fight Deuce. Yo. <laughs> yeah, get me the gang at ringside. <laughs> like I'm watching horror. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, there's probably more I could put in there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. A dominate I mean, probably for Taker as well. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was gonna wait for a minute for you to to expand, and I was like, "No, you're right." Bothering. No, no, you're right. I should have said stuff. I just, I, I was sort of, I don't know. I was in another world, actually. Um, I think, I guess, this is either one or two minutes, depending on how much credit we want to give to Deuce. Two. All right. Deuce a lot. If, it, if it was Domino, he'd get one. Deuces are wild. Hell yeah! Uh, and then after yeah, the Deuce match, two. There you go. Two for Deuce. After the match, um, The Undertaker is going to be attacked by the LGBT community. <laughs> oh, get him! Get him! Um, I guess they should be fighting, because The Undertaker is going to turn the tide um, at the start, until that damn numbers game catches up with him. And Ryder and Hawkins will, like, beat him down. It's just, it's just those guys. Right? We can put Kevin Nash off screen <laughs> if you want. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Los Guerreros, Blancos, Tecnicos. <laughs> <laughs> Out of context, <laughs> WWE. I don't know what you're talking about. This is entirely in context. We should probably split out the storylines here so we get an Undertaker Kevin Nash one and then a Chavo Guerrero Shark one. A, a, a Chavo Guerrero sh sh sharp, sharp Shark one? Yeah. I feel like I knew about this at one point. But you did. He's coming back this week, right? To announce his candidacy for the World Heavyweight Championship. Okay, fair enough. 
that you did you did know that i said to you hey i want to do the program with shark and you're like perfect he's gonna come back next week and we can go right into it damn (laughs) (laughs) you you have zero memory of this (laughs) no hold on it's in text (laughs) spooky lights there. Oh, understandable. I have to take them out of the other one. Okay, check this court. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. No, I even had uh, I even had exactly how I would deal with that too. Good job, me from a week ago. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, so they're out of this, and then they're into their own thing. That I called uh, spooky lights. He <laughs> <laughs> is cracked me up. <laughs> I put the probably put the goons in there too if you can. Yep. Unfortunately. Unfortunate. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, I guess Goon should get some victory here. I don't think we're going to be allowed to do anything other than res- no. unreciprocate it. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, Graphic that tonight's main event is for the Cruiserweight title. Have we already announced the IC title match, or did we just heavily hint that it was going to happen? Okay, we heavily hinted. So I guess we should have McIntyre here getting interviewed by Ric Flair, if he's still here, I guess. Um, And just accepting Triple H's challenge for Madison Square Garden. Perfect. Four? Yep. I realized that we've been talking the whole time about um, SmackDown and doing pre-taped on the angles, and then SmackDown's also live now. Oh, I know that. Oh, you yeah, okay, I just... When you say talking the whole time, I think that was a discussion we had, like, once. Yeah, it was. Sorry. I did, uh, yeah, yeah, that made much sense. You're right. I do that a lot, though, man, where I... I do that in real Have life you been having that all... discussion with yourself since? Is that what's been going I on? Is that... I, I, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Regularly. I go, what I'm... am I doing here? I'll give you, I'll give you my take again, because I think it's the correct take, is that pre-taped would be pre-taped it, it, like in terms of the show, right? Stuff that you're not recording live that you've done prior to the show and are playing on the Tron. Even if it's a taped show, anything that is being done live on the recording would not be pre-taped. It's only stuff that even on the recording is being shown from a previous period. You know what I mean? That makes sense you, to me. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Otherwise, everything would be pre-taped. And I just don't think that makes sense. Oh, you've got a five-second live delay? That's actually pre-taped. True. Actually, and ironically, that would that would be a consequence. Uh, all right. I think we should have Shawn Michaels fight the idol Stevens here. Uh, we could have him be the idol, the heartbreak idol or whatever, or we could maybe have him dress up as a former Shawn Michaels rival, like Brett or Razor Ramon. Whichever one you can work idol into easier. It's really hard with Idol, actually. I, I, the, I, I saw a recap of this gimmick with Charlie Haas recently from this era, and it was a lot easier with with Haas. I don't know, I don't know how Haas fits into everything. <laughs> uh, Idol Ramon is fine, I think. I dig Brett it. the Idol Heart. Oh, big. <laughs> Uh, the idol Stevens. 
Actually, we should pick which one we're doing, because if we do Brett, I would maybe want to do a Montreal screw job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go with uh, Idle Ramon, then. Now, the question with Ramon is, if we're doing Ramon, wouldn't we want to do a ladder match? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I think we should go hard on this. This could be fun. A ladder match for what? That's their most iconic match, isn't it? Sean versus Ramon. It's the ladder match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just mean... For what? Oh, I mean, I don't know. A belt that they've acquired somehow. Like a, it's like a video game thing where it's the money bank for your face. Actually, nothing. it could just be a ladder match, but like, is in ladders are legal. <laughs> you know, we, we don't necessarily have to do well, a, a ladder yeah. smash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not. I don't think for this match because it's unannounced. I would think we would want to build to that. I see. Yeah, that's that's understandable. I mean, I've I've given you my my thoughts. I'm I'm down for you to book this however you please from here. Ooh, a cast Fuck. match. <laughs> the idol taker. Exactly. Um, oh my god, dude! <laughs> it's there. Hell in a cell. <laughs> it's actually just a steel cage, though. <laughs> <laughs> with a yeah, roof on it. <laughs> yeah. we, uh, a steel cage and we put a roof Cheap on out. it. <laughs> Cheap out. <laughs> or um, we could do uh, the idle flare or whatever. <laughs> and then it's the WrestleMania match. The idol's like, I'm sorry, I love you. Oh my John. god, I love it. Because Sean the whole time could be like, no, <laughs> I'm back there. No. I'm going to where I became a monster. <laughs> the only bad deed I've ever done. <laughs> the one thing I regret in the, life. The only the only time I've ever been in the wrong ever. <laughs> All right, is, are we doing Flair here then? We are. Yes. All right. Cool. Which is funny because we've already done Ric Flair. Ric Flair I know. came out about it. Was like, yeah. What's he been doing that shit? <laughs> I look like I don't give a shit. Literally. Nope. Uh, I, I think six. Six comes to mind. Yep. Uh, it's a there's a comic relief yeah there's a comedy match type here yeah yeah Sean would kill at this shit Sean I guess should have Sean is winning <laughs> every match I see him in I can't help but laugh my ass off <laughs> hey now <laughs> he's got some good matches I know, too I know. uh all right it's just being hyperbolic is so fun. Is Shark top of the hour? Yeah, I'm done. All right. What other big stuff have we got on this show? Um, Is this... Uh, can Rey Mysterio arrive to the arena right now? He absolutely could if you wanted him to. Go ahead. All right. Rey Mysterio is going to arrive to the arena, and we see him walking in, and then a pair of legs jump into the frame and run at him. And we're back on from last week. They're just going to keep fucking fighting. <laughs> nice. The moment Ray enters the facility, psychosis is on him. Um, Lucha, Lucha Brawl, Lucha Brawl. Lucha, continue. Lucha Brawl, Lucha, Lucha Brawl. Lucha, right, gonna Lucha. Go, I'm going to use, I'm going to use two more minutes that I initially said. That's I fine. The second part of this. Um, they're going to brawl and then we're going to get uh, another copy here where I guess they can keep brawling, but essentially uh, Kevin Nash is going to split them up and say, I've had enough of this shit, all right? I've got my own things I'm dealing with. You two cannot be throwing my backstage area into disarray, so we're going to settle it next week in a match that I know you both know very, very, very well. Uh, hold on here. Oh, just you pinning a thing. Okay. Yep, yep. All good. Uh, you see me I was like, "Oh shit, okay." I was um, checking. Uh, I was checking to see if there's anything we needed to book on this show, and I wanted to pin it while I was there. You know, match that you guys know very, very well. Uh, uh, Lucha. Uh, he like looks at his <laughs> notes or wait, like he lines like Lucha, Lucha rules match. Ne next week on SmackDown, you guys are settling this shit. So, figure it out. Nice. And then uh, at some point here, um, Michael Cole can explain to us that it's essentially a two to three falls match, and you know Kevin Ash is just. Is there also like that. is there also a twenty count? If I remember that correctly. Or am I probably, wrong? Probably yes. I think that's I think that's probably right. I think there is just a straight up one in here that's just lucha. 
I seem to remember CMLL has a 20 count, but I could be remembering uh, that wrong. The Lucha one doesn't exist. So it is two out of three falls. So whatever. Okay, very, very well. Uh, okay. Let's show highlights of Kofi Kingston's debut last week where he came out on top. He is victorious. Yeah. Okay, can I look through the potential things we can rate him on? I feel like it's going to be subject to video, but I'm wondering if I could justify anything else. I guess, you know, it's a video where we're seeing him fighting, right? I feel like for a wrestler, that is kind of character develop. Okay, fighting is there. I don't love fighting, though, because I always think that's like a fresh fight, not a taped fight. Um, Wait, can I look through them? I, I understand if you're willing no. to go with me on character no. development, yeah. but... Yeah. <laughs> uh, Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Okay, for me, it would probably be character development then, if we wanted to try and gimmick it. What's Kofi's overness? Is there any chance we could just try the subjective video? I know he's only had one match, so... Well, I mean, it did something. It did, yeah, yeah. You know what? I've, I think it should be a subjective video. That's what it should be. Oh, but it's going to be totally bad keep uh, keep uh, keep the character development i guess but i do feel bad if you're if you want to put your foot down and say it has to be subject to video then then i'd be willing i no, i i know I no do. acceptable no. understandable yeah yeah, yeah. let's just check in here this is good it, for a minute yeah. you, you don't want to send the if you got a plan for where you're going to send the ray thing yeah i'll do it in like a pre-tape or something like that next week before the match where he is concerned Okay. Uh, remember that it doesn't apply to a specific angle, but it also makes sense for you to wait for that. Oh, it does? Oh, I may just throw it on him then. Yeah, no, it's not like storyline. You can just throw it on you're him right. and it's instant. You're right. It's either just you roll the dice, yes or no. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, it's a big gamble. Nice. Success. Cool. Nice. Uh, oh, yeah. So, uh, Kofi, and then we, we go to backstage where Kofi is getting interviewed. I guess we have to use one of the real interviewers. <laughs> um, it is. I always use Alicia. Give me Crystal. Or Alicia's, Alicia's on Raw. Raw. Yeah, it's Crystal, Raw. Josh, and um, Matt Strike? Todd. No, Todd. She's blind, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Todd yeah, sorry, Todd's Kofi. been here all, to all, all, all the way since then, huh? So is Josh. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I mean, Crystal asks Kofi what it feels like to be on the SmackDown roster and uh, what he's excited about. And Kofi says uh, that, you know, he is uh, really excited to be here in the biggest wrestling company on the biggest wrestling show in the world. And he is aiming his sights eventually at the Cruiserweight Championship, which he thinks is one of the most prestigious championships in the world at that weight class. Um, and then Crystal asks him, you know, could you sum up your style? For us, uh, for those who yeah. haven't seen you, and Kofi says my style is kick. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, yeah. That's where, where do you think you? Where do you think I was going? Because yours might be better. My style is boom, boom, boom. Love it. Much prefer that. Go for it. <laughs> awesome. His style is boom, boom, boom. I'm the boom, uh, boom man. You. He's, he's Mister Boom, boom. Yeah, you know. Uh, okay, I want, I want Nat Hart to make her return here to SmackDown to wrestle. Oh, sh sh shit. Yeah. Let's get her out there against one of the young, the young ladies. Make your choice. Uh, I think we should start with somebody we know, so that would be the Bash Babe. Real. Yeah. <laughs> American woman. <laughs> um... I guess three minute eye candy match. Nat wins. Yep. Cool. Little quick angle where Chavo talks to Nash and is like, hey, man, you know, uh, I don't know if we're just going to be able to ignore the Undertaker, right? He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who's just going to stay away just because I beat him. And Nash is like, hey, Chavo, Chavo. Don't worry. I've taken care of everything. He 
He's always got a plan. Uh, he always got a plan. Uh, Two? Yep. I don't think this has to be particularly long. And we're pretty close to the top of the hour. And everyone's anticipating. Everybody's waiting. They know he's about to arrive. They're chanting, shark, 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 shark. It's shark. Yep. It's, it's shark. That's it's it's shark. There you go. Yep. Uh huh. The uh, line read I wanted. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, shark has been all over the world. He has uh, seen things that no shark has ever seen before. <laughs> shark. And as he looked in the fires of the volcano, he could think of only one thing. Lava is used to forge things. Everybody's like, what? What? <laughs> Fuck. Uh-huh. And much like lava, I will forge my destiny. Yeah! I'm calling my shot right now. Chavo Guerrero. I, I, Don't I want, waste I want, I want your belt. Yeah. my time. I'm ready for my close-up, baby. Based. Lundberg says, who are you? I've never met you before. You're a shark? <laughs> You're a shark, bro? <laughs> and suddenly you want a title shot? Well, over my dead body. See, if anyone deserves a title shot, it's me. The hottest signing of the of the of the trade deadline. It's me, Elijah Burke. And I think I should have a title shot. It's just like it's shark. It's me, Elijah Burke. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Fucking yeah. fantastic, man. <laughs> I love it. Cool, I'm glad. It's me, Elijah Burke. <laughs> I'm not a shark. I'm a man. And I and I want to fight you next. We're going to fight next week in the number one Hell contenders yeah. match. Yeah. Uh, cool. We should probably check in with Bobby Lashley and Doug Basham. Yeah. Um. In what capacity, though? <laughs> Depends on how much you want me to go into the JBL bag for Basham. Oh. <laughs> Where is that going? <laughs> I'm kind of concerned. But hell, you know what? Take me down the road, Tucker. Doug Basham has paid for what I can only call a political ad where he says that the new arrivals to SmackDown will take our spots, take our title <laughs> shots, and take our money. Have you noticed something about all the new arrivals to Friday Night SmackDown? Something, oh, no. something they all have in common. They all came from Raw. Oh, oh thank God. Are we going for that sort of that is, angle? Yeah, yeah, okay. Vibe, uh, yeah. Okay, all right, all right. When Raw send their talent, they're not sending their best. Some of them, I'm sure, are good people. <laughs> but Bobby Lashley is not one of those people. Fucking awesome. Four minutes? Yep. Doug Basham attack ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a major storyline for me. <laughs> yep, sure. He's besmirching the good name of the new arrivals. Uh, what was this one? Was this life? Oh, this was Relic of the Past. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Concerning gonna, when we have to ask that question. They're going to take our title shots. Really, Bobby? Fucking God, man. It's only extremely unhappy. All right, all right. What about, would this... Would this be Ooh, less? That's a good question. Go all the way down to minor. Sorry, I know it's going to... But it's a better chance of showing you what you want to know. Okay. Interesting. Do you want to now try bumping up to regular? 
Sure. Just see that, what happens. That's good. I'm glad that that's true. I'm kind of surprised that it's true, but I'm glad. Okay. Okay, and see, now it's a good thing we did go down a minor, though, because it didn't change. Yeah, I, I would have probably just thought, like, oh. Oh, it's the same. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's uh, review the storylines to see if there's any major plot points we've missed. We're doing that. Oh, Shark should get added to this. Chavo's off screen in the Shark promo, right? Cool. Yes. I also want to point out that we've got such a strong SmackDown roster now, and still our main event storyline is now Shark Elijah Burke. And I'm not saying that as a bad thing. I think it's kind of based, but it's still funny to it me. Is based. What's life in the fast lane? You just get past it, and I don't really know what that is. Aha! Uh -huh. See, now I'm glad we checked this one. But yeah, keep going. Yep. 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 Kill. Just, just end that storyline. All right, so we need something to do with Elijah and... Wait, is that Elijah Burke and Evan Bourne? That it is. Oh, okay, that's fine. I still think that's fine um, because we can we can wrap these storylines together. So what I want, I think, is Evan Bourne interviewed about his match last week and complaining about how Elijah Burke cheated. And that's not the SmackDown way. Maybe, maybe Doug Basham's on to something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've definitely got another match in here. Yeah, who do you want? Good question. Who's, who's Paul White? <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea. We could do... Oh, go ahead. Do anything with Miracle on top. I was about to say, maybe they could wrestle. New tag champs, yeah. I was thinking Miracle on Tonk could wrestle here. Perhaps they could wrestle Sebastian Slater and, Slater and Lawrence Knight. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly where I was going to. Hot new free agents <laughs> that appeared on Raw this week. I must, I must put in Wade Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence Barrett. A pretty good one. Um, Santino also like that it's, also like that it, this might just be a bridge there. I also like that it's Lawrence. Yeah, that's that's how you spell Lawrence. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've seen it with a U without any other extra letter, just Lawrence. Ooh, you yeah. yikes. Uh, I think one minute on this. Yep, Renee just picks no, up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's Renee this time. So I, I like the, the dynamic. And also, it should be Sebastian who gets ragged all by him. Um, I like the dynamic that it's Santino that wins the big matches, but it's Renee that wins the easy matches. Yeah, yeah, fair. I like Because Santino's, Santino's the, like, miracle guy, right? He's the guy who shows up for the big occasion when it really counts. But mm. he's clearly not as good of a wrestler as Renee Dupree. No, yeah. Uh, okay. You said you wanted to hear from the new tag champs who are, of course, Millennium. Or we could even just hear from Roddy on behalf of the tag champs. And we could, but he is yeah, he's in the main. So I feel like maybe we just leave him because he's going to be accompanied with his boys. and They're going to be wearing all the gold. It's Alan Jones is returning next week. <laughs> um, <laughs> Good one. Huh. I just realized Xarian's still a heel. That's funny. Yeah. He's kind of just a dude. Let me. Yeah, let me. Ugh, it's even. Does it matter? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just throw it on in the background. Sure. We'll pop it sometime we remember. Whenever he wrestles, then we'll be like, oh shit, yeah, I forgot we were doing that. 
It's interesting. I've yeah, we that we got room here to do something of some substance. I don't know if there is anybody of any substance who needs time here. Huh. A little surprised. Oh, we could These start doing vignettes for an upcoming debutante. Yeah. Do you have ideas for what those vignettes might look like? Um, maybe to start, it's just a burning city and you can hear, oh, this, that'd be really loud if I hit my desk, but you can hear like thumping in the background. Slower. Yeah, slower. Yeah, I guess so. It's these big, thunderous booms, essentially, as this city burns. And then cut to black, and, you know, that's it. Yep. Huh, how do we do this? Is this just our commentators going, what the fuck? <laughs> Why does this happen? Why does this keep happening? Maybe we take a road agent. And we make them the segment host. And the idea is that they're they're the director of this angle. I dig it. I guess it should be Michael Hayes. Yep. Um A city uh, is burning. <laughs> city on fire. Hearts on fire. Hearts on fire. Yeah, I thought about um I thought about asking if we should use um Oh fuck, what song was it? Shit, hold on. Uh... Yeah, I wonder if we we should have used, I was going to ask if we should use the Burning Heart for um SummerSlam. The Burning Heart? Yeah. Like the um oh, what's what's the bat? what's the what's the artist's name again? I think I know exactly um, what song you're talking about. Sur Survivor. It's uh, it's the other Survivor. Song. Oh, oh, never mind. I'm thinking of a different song. I think I'm thinking of a Lonely Heart or something. Um, oh, oh. Um, there's also, but also in the exact same uh, album, there's um, John Cafferty's Hearts on Fire. <laughs> so that's what reminds me. <laughs> uh, yeah, we could for sure. Yeah, no, definitely. It's gonna have about four themes by the time we get there, but I'm down. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but <laughs> it is uh, it is our yeah. stadium show, so that makes sense. Yep. yep. All right, what do we got here? What's going on next? Maybe we can do a little angle here where the goons are walking backstage really smug, and then the lights go off and they scream like little girls and run. I love it. Dramatic acting. Maybe comic relief. Yeah, sure. And then the Undertaker off screen. There you go. I feel like my mic didn't pick that up. It Whatever. didn't. I heard like Lego, yeah, I think. Oh. He's not going to do it well. <laughs> <laughs> like, this guy isn't funny. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to change it to dramatic acting if you want. I feel like we should have left uh, left Zach on on the comedy. You know, maybe he could pull the it comedy. off. You yeah. Okay, well, so I've had these ideas floating in my mind since we started this little segment, but Triple H could could probably do something. I, I think it would be just talking to talk, but he has stuff to talk about. Um, backstage interview, because he did it in the ring last week, right? Sure. So, backstage interview with fucking, give me Jash. 
Maybe Sean also shows up and tells Triple H about this experience that he's been having. <laughs> Sean, that's I'm awful. So you you saw Rick? Where? I thought he was dead. <laughs> no, he's very much alive, Hunter. And he's taunting me. I had a match with him earlier. Just like, god damn. I, I, I'm being haunted by Scotsman, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Scottish people. Sean's like, oh, I hate the Scots Hunter. Fantastic. DX are being haunted. <laughs> All right, I'll have your back for the, the ghost of Ric Flair, and you need to have my back for the Scottish people. Fantastic. I guess we can do the main. And it could go 13, and that's our show. Uh, yeah, uh, Roddy's going to win. Uh, no notes. I'm sure this match will be fun. I don't have any specific ideas for it. Yeah, I'm pretty much the same way. Cool. I'm sure it's fun. Yeah. Do we need to put a storyline on it, or do they have one? I think we do need to put one on it, yeah. Let's chuck yeah. Chavo Guerrero man under pressure on it after we nuke it in the shark angle. Hell yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. This is all good stuff. Perfect. Should we do the Triple H a sad one? Sure. He is currently sad. I feel like he will only get happier as the weeks progress. We could also apply one of these other ones, or we could do it off screen, depending on how you want to play this. I would just be down to do it on screen. I mean, it's on just screen? The sure. Yeah, they, it's just the streams. I, you just know, we the try streams, to, Tucker? We try, to, we try to provide a level of, you know... Um, Insight. O o opaqueness? Transparency? No, no, well, I do. You are much. going we for opaqueness. Okay, all right. Yeah. Where, we where? Do try to do that. Okay, then we should do it off screen then if you want opaqueness, right? No, because I was saying that I often try to do that and then I we just like, we have to at some points just show the hand. Sure, sure, sure. But we don't have to here. Okay. okay but I'm willing, I'm willing to, I'm just saying, you know. Oh, God damn it! Your argument is that we shouldn't really. Yeah, okay, we, we cannot then. That's okay. Oh, okay. That's cool. good with me. All right. Cool. That's the show. That's it. Cool. Let's run. Cool. It. Let's run it. This is for the bell. Yeah. Yes. Hit. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Nice. Why is the crowd Test simmering? The line. Why is the crowd simmering? Who knows? God damn. We're stuck in simmering hell. Undertaker was off his game because he wasn't fighting a world class worker. Honestly, fair. I was going to say, honestly, accurate. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Big. Uh, oh, I thought it said unclear then. I was scared, but it's it's still simmering. Hell yeah, man. Next week. Lucha rules. Lucha rules, which I guess is just two out of three. You could make a Lucha rules match if you wanted to. I could, but it's going to function the exact same. See, there's no setting for like a out of the ring count. Oh, 10 count. I think it'll stay 10 count. It I don't think you will. Can, You're right. Like you could set... 20 count. I would I would agree with you. <sighs> Big main event. Yeah, we're we're getting a solution to this Ray Psychosis thing next week. Sure we, we love are. Kofi Kingston. We do. And here he is. We love him. We're His still simmering. All boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. What nice. the fuck? Wait, what? oh, eye candy, eye candy. I mean, still, wait, 81. Wait, no, hold, on. hold on, wrestling rating. Hold up, 
What is happening right now? I think wrestling rating is based on sex appeal for this type of match, but I might be wrong. Okay. God, segment got a bonus for The Undertaker. Nice. There's <laughs> like, ah, play the crowd more. Do a big boot, yeah. Nat. <laughs> play the crowd more. It woke way. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Cover up a bit more, girls. Yeah. I've, uh, uh, yep. Chavo, I've taken care of everything. This actually did I'll pretty well. I'll yeah. And we finally got the crowd off of simmering. I, I feel like definitely Elijah's responsible for this doing so well, but. No, it's Shark, man. Shark, Shark is alive. Shark is underrated, man. Shark is genuinely a very useful baby face. He is. He's been That's why he's that. getting this opportunity. He's going to beat Chavo. He's going to go to Russia's world heavyweight champion. Nice. We, we got the crowd. They're hot. Let's go. They're in now. Yeah. yeah. They are. Triple H is about to appear on screen as well. Never mind. This is nice. happening first. <clears throat> nice. Kind of based. Yep. <laughs> I love it. I'm, it actually does well enough that we can continue this style of vignette. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> That's why they're here. That's why they're here. The only time it perks up the whole night. They're like, oh, shit. <laughs> is that, is that Shawn, no, no, they were excited when The Undertaker made his entrance. <laughs> oh, sure. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're ready for the main event now. They've set the scene for the cruiserweights. Come on, boys. Go out there and kill it. Yeah. Acceptable. Acceptable. Gregory Helms isn't who he used to be. Oh, dude, it did so much better than I thought it would do. I'm not going to lie. Okay, good, good, good. All right. I was expecting upwards of like more than 10 points lower than this. Like, I think what's cool about this match, I said I had no notes, but I have one note is that I think what, what's interesting about this match is I think we'll see very much uh, a generational shift between these two wrestlers because it's in so many, they have so many similarities in that they are chameleon wrestlers who have the ability to t take matches very slow or take matches very fast. They're light, but they're on the heavier side of the cruiserweight division. They are um, generally stern peoples, you know, very stiff um, in terms of their, um, uh, not attitude, but outlook, and and the, you know they're they're the way they 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 come across, and they're also both the two probably most dominant cruiserweight champions of recent years, and I think there are probably lots of comparisons that have been made between these two over the last little while, and this is an interesting matchup where we get to see them in the ring against each other, and there is a massive difference, and I think the story of this match is that. They, while they are very, very similar, Roderick Strong is just that much quicker. Roderick Strong is just that much smarter. Roderick Strong is just that much more brutal in the way he delivers his offense. And, you know, they are very similar in terms of the way they work, but Roderick Strong is like the next model, the, 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 the next step up from where Gregory Helms once was. And I think there's almost like a level of sadness to Helms in this match where he realizes that, like, man, he is seeing the match get away from him and like he there are things he's seeing in this match that he just doesn't have the ability to take advantage of anymore because he's not he's not like necessarily old but he sees that like this division has passed him by now yeah you pretty much nailed what i was going to add onto what you were saying which is like i imagine there is a considerable amount of heartbreak here to greg knowing that this guy in front of him he was once that guy yep and now he can't do that anymore and it's just not working. And then Roderick Strong, I guess, doesn't kick him in the head. He drops him on his knees. But yeah. Yeah. And I, uh, the show ends with Roderick Strong holding up the Cruiserweight Championship and Tyson Kidd and Jack Evans holding up the WWE Tag Team Championships. So I think almost under the radar, Millennium have taken control, really, of, I was Friday say, Smack, the of Thursday Night SmackDown. The war games match between Millennium and La Familia is going to go crazy. <laughs> the heat vacuum <laughs> that that match would have been. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. We uh, didn't go up, I guess, in the new regions, but they stayed the same. So there you go. Cool. Goldilocks. Goldilocks? 
The Goldilocks community. I have, I have a an idea. Okay. I have an idea, and I'll, and I'll and I'll talk to you after we end the stream about it. Sure. I had it, and you'll either you'll either like it or you won't. <laughs> Josh Barnett seems to be having a lot of trouble over in New Japan. I think we Josh should. Josh Barnett is taking everybody's ass. <laughs> we should probably. Oh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> nice man. <laughs> Everybody's getting Mick Foley's getting yelled at by everybody. Okay, th this is a good opportunity to go and send Ric Flair away. Yeah. Okay. Set him down. FCW. What's his contract situation? Uh, it's up in September. Okay, so let's send him away till September, right? Unless you have any arguments about that, it's probably That's not the one. Give bonuses I don't know or to time do this off. Anymore. Give bonuses or time off. Uh, September. Months. Yeah. Just get the hell out of here. You good with that? Are you fine with us saying goodbye oh, yeah. to Rick? Okay. Yeah, I'm good with it. All right. I got bad news. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes. Yeah. Um. Very quickly, I'll set this strange man. Who is this? I don't know. If only the game had a feature to do this automatically when he was coming back to a company that he already had an alter ego in. If only, but it would uh, it would erase the bio entirely, so... Oh, no. Yes, and I'm not dealing with that shit. <laughs> if only there was a way to automatically make bios. If only. Cool. Cool. Yeah, who's that guy? Anyways. I don't know. We should probably change his gimmick to like giant crony or something. Yeah, sure. It's like that. Is that crony? I think so. I'm think maybe it's a comedy gimmick, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm kind of unironically suggesting it. If there was like a I guess there is a weaselly one, but he can't play it. Yeah. So my, I'm genuinely pitching comedy. <laughs> Cool. Okay, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I'm willing to talk about it. I don't think this is a big role. No, I, I, mean, I know it's not. It's just, will he be funny? He'll be relief. Like, he's not necessarily like, ha ha, but it's like, he is just like a goon. Okay, I think that's fine. Maybe it is in comedy. I think I think it kind of fits. Like he's, but that <laughs> for weasel. Comedy, hmm? For comedy, I would say it's like every aspect of the act is comedy. You know what I mean? It's I do. Just, I do know what you mean. Like, because otherwise, you tell me that none of these other gimmicks can have layers to them. They can't be. They can't do some comedic stuff. Um, sure. But you're also I mean, telling me that I mean, if you're saying the other, although my other argument now that you've laid it out is that if you're saying the other gimmicks can have aspects of comedy, could comedy not have aspects? Because you said entirely. Well, in that same logic, shouldn't comedy also have aspects of other gimmicks? But the core of it so. is that he is not to be taken seriously. I don't think so because I don't think comedy plays like any of the other gimmick types in the game. None of the other gimmick types have a specific match that they do, a specific angle focus that they do that gets benefits from being a comedy gimmick. That's true. I've also just noticed gimmicky is there and is combined with cartoonish. Wacky over the top, low key, kind of what this might be. Oh, I don't know if it's over the top. Cool. Okay, fair. Cartoonish as a phrase, I think, describes him. Like, he is just oh, like a mustache a twirling. Cartoon. Yeah. Big man. We could also just go with realistic. That's I'm coming, actually, I'm coming around to this. Like, he's just a big dude who wants to get paid. I dig that. You, you want to call him, like, Goofy Giant Crony or something like that? No, I don't think it, we need to stress that he's a big goof. Okay. If anything, that was that was, that was was the part that I was, like, 
taking your arguments on for the other two is like i don't know how goofy he's actually gonna end up being like that was why i was i was willing to hesitate on the others because i'm like it's not really like funny he's not really like goofy it's just that he's not ta- my big thing was that he's not really being taken that seriously yeah i wouldn't say that's either of those necessarily no, but I think actually the biggest argument you made that I'm on board with now is that it doesn't necessarily, I don't think these have to be absolutes. This is just the core of the gimmick, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there's only this many of them and they're standard, which is doesn't fit into any other category. So it didn't dare huh. be that. It could be. I think I'd go with realistic, though, unless you disagree. No, I don't, I don't disagree at all. Okay. Anything on these? I feel like it's at least a little creative and at least a little unique. Like I agree. It's a big, you know, it's a big enforcer, which is pretty common, but it's like a really big enforcer. And he's not super into it. No, he's not like ride or die. He's just no, going to get paid. Like crazy evil. Or <laughs> yeah, like yeah, he's, yeah. He's just hanging out. Cool. Cool. Uh, set him to SmackDown. Yep. Men's division. <laughs> I think that is something you... Oh, he's already there. I guess the, that's a different divisional thing Sorry, that I saw there. there. Oh, yeah, this would yeah. be the other ones. You can change the names of those now, right? You can. There's no longer... Because um, I think the list of them now is significantly shorter. Because mm. it, there used to be, like, fucking pages of this shit, man. Um, especially since I see here, like, yeah, like, junior and heavyweight are gone. Yeah. That makes sense. And you you just make them yourself. Cool. All right. Is that everything? That is, I believe, everything. Oh, I'll have to do Big Show's height and weight and stuff like that. You mean he's not seven foot tall? What they bill him at? Was he was he just seven feet? Actually, he probably just was seven feet. Yeah, I think so. Uh cool. All right. Yeah. Uh those morale issues are kind of relevant, but they're not enough for they're not super relevant. Oh, who's, who's that guy? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Okay, anything else we need to go week? over? Uh, no, I think we're good for All the right. stream, yeah. Are we good for next weekend? Yeah, we're good. All right, cool. Uh, in that case, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And we will see you guys next weekend for... Uh, TVs, go-homes, and then... Yeah, Highway to Hell. Cool, see you then.